Welcome to the Blaze Sports Institute for Applied Science. This is a CDSS Level 2 curriculum session. And this session is Technology and Disability Sport 1, Peak Performance Through Sports Software. Now, when we talk about technology and disability sport, there are many different paths we can go down. Uh, we can talk about uh, advances in technology and prosthetics. We can talk about advances in other equipment, in wheelchairs, in tires, and wheels. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. What we're going to focus on today is sports software, and we're going to look at a few different areas within sports software that may help you improve uh, your performance in sport by the utilization, utilization of some of these different uh, software packages that we're going to discuss. And we're going to discuss why they can be useful and how they're attainable for those community programs that don't have a lot of money to spend on software packages. Now, when we talk about uh, peak performance through software, um, we can talk about a lot of different areas that can be touched uh, through technology and through software. And we've got a list over here on the left. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is video analysis. We'll get into that. Uh, we're going to talk about real-time statistical uh, software packages that we can use. Uh, we're going to touch just a little bit on sports medicine. And uh, overall, we're not going to go in-depth on these other areas, but as you can see, exercise physiology, strength and conditioning, support biomechanics, sport nutrition, sport psychology, and coaching. Now, obviously, you can use technology and software programs uh, some to learn about coaching, but a lot of times all these different uh, areas uh, where software can be applied just aid in the coaching process if you use them properly. So again, the first uh, category we're going to talk about is video analysis. And video analysis is something that can and should be used by anyone engaged in sport and uh, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of applications in the rehabilitation field as well for the, a lot of the same reasons that you would use it within sport performance. Now, one of the things I want to point out, and I want to just hopefully I don't have to build the case, but I'm going to use this example to build the case uh, for the benefit of video analysis. And again, once you download this PowerPoint, please click on these hyperlinks, the Dartfish article and the case study. Um, this is going to be a quick session, and uh, you need to click on these hyperlinks within the PowerPoint in order to fully comprehend everything we're trying to present in this session. But uh, this, Andrew Cushman, uh, was a uh, an employee at the Lakeshore Foundation, and she utilized utilized a video analysis through the Dartfish platform with the 2006 wheelchair rugby national team, and had extreme success. And again, if you read the Dartfish article in the case study, you can see um, some in depth. Uh, um, information about how she utilized that software, what some of the athletes and coaches said about how that uh, video analysis was used to help them improve not just their uh, performance in competition, but also in their training. So here we have uh, a national team, a national wheelchair rugby team for the United States that won the 2006 World Championship and really felt that the utilization of video analysis in training and competition was one of the things that helped give them the edge over their competition. So that is a very short uh, um, attempt to get you to buy into video analysis. And now we're going to go into some of the different platforms that you can use um, to uh, use video analysis in your program. Uh, and what we're going to do is just go through a bunch of different examples of what's out there. Many of these uh, are free or have a free version, and for community programs, that's probably going to be what's uh, um, what's most desirable because, again, community programs generally don't have a whole lot of money. So uh, a lot of these, again, are free. You can just download them for free, and you can use a, a web browser or YouTube to utilize the software, or you can just use your laptop, and you can capture the video with virtually any type of video capture device. Uh, Silicon Coach. Um, can be used, it says multidisciplinary application when I talk about video analysis and multidisciplinary. That basically means it can be used for a number of different sports uh, or uh, sport activities. Um, it, this does have a free application. There's also uh, paid applications as you get in more and more tools. Uh, this is one where you can use uh, YouTube uh, with the analysis tools. And what I want you to do, you need you, you need to click on the link, Why Use Video Analysis. Um, that is a video put together by Silicon Coach that talks about the benefits of video analysis. And much of what they go over in that short video, it's only a few minutes long, but much of what uh, they go over is actually included on your quiz. So you're going to want to click on that link and watch that video. And then, of course, you can click on the Silicon 
Silicon Coach Live Explain link as well to learn a little bit more about their program. Just a few, a little bit more explanation. And as you see, it's got Silicon Coach Pro Premier Video Analysis, and that is one of the paid platforms. Uh, you can actually, if you want to spend money, you get some more tools and more, um, and more uh, functionality with the paid uh, portion. Again, just some more uh, information on Silicon Coach, showing you some different sports there. Uh, Canovia, uh, again, just another another software video analysis uh, platform again in multiple multiple I can't speak today again multidisciplinary so you can use it for a range of different sports uh, it is free of charge there's no warranty for the program uh, but you can use it for immediate feedback side-by-side -side analysis and again click on those YouTube links and uh, you can learn more about Kenobi now what I do want to mention since we have this as a bullet point side-by-side -side analysis and one of the benefits of video analysis is you can put um, side by side performances up on one screen and you can utilize this in a number of manners. You can utilize the same athlete uh, pre instruction, post instruction, or uh, an athlete uh, performing a skill at the beginning of the season, mid season, or beginning of the season, uh, late season, mid season, late season. You can break it up any way you want, but the idea is you want to evaluate the change, hopefully a positive change, from not doing the skill absolutely correctly to doing the skill absolutely correctly. So that can help them build confidence and show that they are learning. You can do also use it in a number of different ways. You can use a side-by-side -side analysis with a novice performer on one side of the screen and an expert performer on the other side, and you can point out the skill uh, differentiations between the two how the novice is performing the skill and how the expert is performing the skill and what needs to change in the novice's performance to get them to that expert level. Side-by-side um, -side analysis is a great tool to really put into pictures what is going on on the field of play within the skill and really help those learners who are, who are kinesthetic learners and visual learners. That way they can see it and then apply it to their actions. Um, so. Video analysis is just a great, great tool, and that's by no means the extent of how video analysis can be used, but that's just one of the applications uh, that can be used when you're utilizing uh, video analysis and video analysis software. Again, just some more um, slides on the Canovia. Uh, long match, um, long go match, uh, another one. This is a little bit more soccer or football if you're European. Specific, again, it's free. Um, I think you're seeing a little uh, theme here. We've had three different uh, platforms, and all of them are free, uh, which is good. And they are good platforms. They have very good tools. Uh, they can really aid you in uh, helping your athletes reach peak performance. Uh, and again, it doesn't cost you any money. You just need, you do need to have the equipment. You're going to have to have some type of video capture device and a laptop or a computer. Some more information on Longo Match. Now we get into some of the uh, um, video analysis packages that you'd have to pay for. And the reason these are here, I just want to show you, show you the width and depth of video analysis and how specific it can get. Here we've got one specific uh, to Major League Baseball. And you could also use it for softball, uh, but this is basically a baseball softball specific software platform. Sports Motion, uh, another one. Uh, this is a pay, uh, paid platform. Video Motion Analysis, um, you can click on the hyperlink there and learn more about Sports Motion. Motion Pro, same type of thing. And as you see in these slides down here where we've got the uh, yellow and green neon lines, most of the video analysis software packages are going to allow you to do this. So you, again, as you're working with your athletes, you can utilize these tools to show them where they're at and where they need to be and where the skill is falling from. Uh, uh, perf well, I don't want to use the word perfect from excellent. <laughs> we never want to use perfect. There is no such thing as perfect, but there is such thing as excellence. Uh, Sports Technology International, again, uh, just another manufacturer. This one is uh, bigger in Australia, New Zealand, Europe, uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, and again, just this is just the tip of the iceberg, and by no means are there just three free uh, software platforms. There's many, many more. You can do research on those. The point of this part of the session is to show you that video analysis exists. It exists free of charge, and it can be useful. And again, clicking on that link, 
of why use video analysis on the silicon coach slide. That's going to give you a great explanation of the benefits of utilizing video analysis software. Team Terman, I met Bud Terman at the NRPA conference in Atlanta last year. He developed this technology. He is a PhD in biomechanics. And uh, I'm not going to go into this in detail. I want you to watch. Click on these two links uh, from the PowerPoint. And what I want you to do is to just think about how this type of technology can be utilized in disability sport. Now, he developed this primarily for swimmers. And one of the YouTube clips uh, that you're going to see is a sled hockey player, sledge hockey player. And uh, just see what that does because what he he's developed the both the hardware and the software for this and the hardware he's developed is uh, instantaneous velo a device to measure instantaneous velocity so he's recording over a thousand data points per second on instantaneous velocity and think about what that means uh, when you're when you're participating in sport and you're looking at the most efficient movements in sport and maintaining a forward velocity. If you're engaging in sport where you want to maximize that forward velocity and maintain velocity, how can, how can this hardware software package really help you do that? And uh, this is under the video analysis because he does offer video analysis as part of this package, but it's really a two-part combo. You've got hardware and software that are taking place at the same time. Dartfish. Dartfish is probably the preeminent software package if uh, you're into watching uh, the Olympics. And the Olympics obviously coming up here in uh, uh, July 27th, I believe. The uh, Olympics opening ceremonies are August 29th. The Paralympics uh, opening ceremonies take place. Um, and if you watch those or you watch either the summer or the winter games, in the summer games if you watch diving and uh, you see the replays of the divers as they – uh, maybe put two divers together or they, or they show the diver and they keep all the motions up there so you see the person and they keep that movement path as they go down where they don't, uh, it's just not instantaneous. You see everything they did as they go down or you're watching the Winter Olympics and uh, the giant slalom. Uh, downhill skiing is a great, uh, great uh, example of how dartfish is used where one skier will go down the slope and then they'll, uh, they'll do the side-by-side -side analysis and they'll have another skier going down and they'll have it linked at time so you can see where one gains, one falls back, and how they're going versus the clock. That's all Dartfish. Um, that's Dartfish video analysis software that they're utilizing uh, at the Olympic level on the TV side, but they're also using, utilizing Dartfish uh, on, the, on the training and competition side for the individual athletes and for the teams. Uh, there are five different software packages within Dartfish. There may be more now since uh, the last time I updated this. Uh, you can find out more from Dartfish. One of, the, one of the tools they also offer is Dartfish TV. So anyone who is actually utilizing Dartfish, they offer Dartfish TV as a way to upload those and create your own channels. So let's say you're the Chicago Bulls and uh, you are utilizing Dartfish in training and competition and you want to analyze some game film, and for some reason you're not going to have everybody in the same place, or you want to do it on the plane and you have internet access on the plane, you can upload that to Dartfish. You can utilize the video analysis software. You can add in audio. You can add in tags. You can add in comments, and you can just make that accessible so everyone can just go to the Dartfish TV channel and watch it rather than having to have everyone in the room watching one lecture. And here again you've got a... a uh, hyperlink where you can click on the testimonials or how to use Dartfish, uh, and that is definitely worthwhile to to watch. Um, we're going to get this into this in just a moment, but also as you see in that second main bullet point, there's also some free um, applications from Dartfish. They've got the Easy Tag app for the iPhone, iPad, and Android, and that's what we're going to talk about next in real time statistics. So we've talked about video analysis software. Um, now we want to talk about how can how can software used be capture real time statistics. Well, what, you know, why do you want to capture real time statistics? Well, for me as a coach, especially a basketball coach, uh, information is power. If I can have detailed statistics on uh, rebounding for both teams, turnovers, uh, the shot chart, uh, you know, I I know I have so much information. It's much easier for me to make adjustments. It's much e easier for me to 
interpret how we got to where we were at at a certain point in the game, whether it be half, midway through the first half, at halftime, midway through the second half, half, or evaluating the game after the game, uh, data is important. And typically in a community program, we don't have a oodles and oodles of volunteers that can just keep stats for us. And there are software solutions that can help us do this. And Dartfish does have a free uh, statistical application. It's called Easy Tag, and you can see it there. And there's two links there, and I highly encourage you to click on those links again and see what it's all about. But it's a completely customizable customizable application for you to track statistics, and you can you can track anything you want. Again, it's completely uh, customizable, so you can if you want to do it for basketball, you can do it for basketball. You can do it for soccer. You can do it for wrestling, softball, baseball, football. Uh, you could even do it for track, field, you could do it for almost anything you want, again, because you have complete control over how you uh, set up what you want to track, and you're doing it right there on an iPhone, iPad, and you can do it real time. So instead of paper, pencil, uh, multiple people trying to keep multiple statistics, you can do it all in one on one iPad. Now, of course, you might not have an iPad, but most everybody or most programs have a laptop available, and there are other different types of solutions as well. Cybersport is one. Uh, it's been very popular with the National Wheelchair Basketball Association, um, but they've got applications, as you can see, for football, baseball, softball. Good tagging features. This is real-time statistical information. You basically need to have one person dedicated to sitting uh, on the bench with a laptop, and basically you're keeping track of the game. You're doing all the statistics. So if uh, I've utilized this with one of my community programs, and it is absolutely one of the best things we ever did. Uh, I think it was about $150, $200 for the software. Again, and there are free applications that do something very similar and have the same power as well. We just standardized on what uh, the majority of the NWBA was using. Um, at halftime, I had complete statistics for both teams. Uh, the same statistics that you see at halftime of the NBA Finals, I had those exact same st statistics available to me at halftime of my community wheelchair basketball game, and it really aided me in making adjustments for our team. And the years we used that, we were a little bit more successful than we were the years we didn't. And here's an example, uh, first half shot chart for both teams. So, you know, this is an example of what you can get where you can see that, uh, you know, we were doing, you know, this team was doing okay shooting right into the basket at the baseline, but once you got out off the baseline, eh, not so much going on. Over here, we did really good on the right side of the chart. Uh, did pretty good from the right side of the floor, not so good on the left side of the floor. So just all good information you can have. Um, here's the game report. Again, just detailed statistics. Coaching wear, very similar to cyber sports, same type of thing, um, and just, just another option. And again, there are more and more out there. You just need to research and you can find it, and it can make a huge difference in your sport program, if you're, especially if you're engaging in team sports uh, where you do have quarters, halves, and you can make adjustments. That data can give you that information to make proper adjustments. The final thing we're going to talk about is uh, utilizing software for sports medicine. We just have one slide on this, and it, you know this the the SCAT2 iPhone app. It's a concussion assessment tool. Now, this is not a tool just anyone's going to use. You have to be properly trained and qualified in order to use this tool. Okay, uh, so as uh, basically a health professional, uh, either a doctor an athletic trainer, um, a physician's assistant could utilize this, but someone someone who is trained is the only person that can use it. Anyone could get it, but you have to be trained to utilize this tool. But the reason I put it up here is um, the SCAT-2 is a fairly um, universally accepted concussion assessment tool. And concussions are huge this day and age in the sporting environment, not just in able-bodied sport and disability sport too. Everybody gets concussions. Sport is sport. People get hurt. Um, and what this application allows you to do, instead of keeping everything paper and pencil, you can do everything electronically. So you can have your, your baseline test for all your athletes. You can have it stored. If someone does is suspected of having a concussion, you can you, again, you can put this on a smartphone, you can put this on an iPad, you can put this on a tablet, on an Android. Um, and you can, you, can, uh, you can go through the concussion assessment with them on the iPad, on the tablet, 
and then you can upload it and compare it to their baseline data and you don't have to worry about mixing paper, losing paper, transferring everything. It's all right there. It's downloadable. It's exportable. And you have instantaneous information without having to go back and look at, at prior paper files uh, to see what their baseline was and compare, and compare the new information to that. So it, it is a tool that is that can really help um, the, the medical professionals assess concussion and get quicker answers. Obviously, when you're talking about concussion protocol, you're always going to err on the side of caution. So it's not that an application like this is really going to um, uh, help someone avoid further injury because you're going to err on the side of caution and keep them out of uh, the field of play until you're sure they do not have a concussion anyway. But it just makes things a little bit easier. It shows where technology is going and how software can assist in that process. So that is, uh, that is the whole of our technology discussion today. Again, you do need to go through the PowerPoint and click on the links in order to fully comprehend everything that we need you to get out of this session and also in order to be successful on the quiz. But I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and again, there are many different paths we could have gone down talking about technology. And I encourage you to think about those different paths. Again, uh, sports equipment and prosthetics are two that uh, come jump right out uh, and come to mind. But uh, software is important. It is, uh, to summarize just a bit, there's video analysis pa there are video analysis packages that are out there. They are free of charge. They have great tools within them. Uh, I have used them. It makes a difference. And statistical information, there are packages out there that are free of charge, easy to use. Again, can make a huge difference in your sport program. And for the uh, medical professionals, there's applications out there as well that can help you be more efficient in the work that you're doing to uh, aid uh, sports teams as well. So again, I hope you enjoyed this technology session and good luck with the quiz.